I bring you these tattles to help you understand the energies at play in any given moment. I want you to see the things we often overlook. And I want to show you an oasis that exists for us all. Thank you for joining me. My name is Fani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions, Taurus. I'm getting ready to dive right into today's tattle. Okay, Taurus, and your first card out, Justice. This sits in your hopes, Taurus, hoping for some kind of balance. This might be you trying to reach within to find what fairness is, what constitutes trust, the truth. With the Magician Taurus, this talks about turning your thoughts into things. This talks about following your intuition in order to change and shape your world with the Magician. This is trying to find some kind of balance with what it is you are creating, Taurus. Trying to go within and understand with justice that Fairness is deemed something different to each person that looks at it. This is something that you are working on, Taurus. Something that you are working on with others. Wow, Taurus, with the Three of Pentacles, this talks about a concerted efforts effort. This talks about working and pooling skills in order to achieve the greater good, Taurus. In your fears sits a celebration. This represents soul family, Taurus. Something that's attached to what it is you're working on. With the Queen of Cups, we're talking about an energy of someone who appeals to your senses. This is sensing what others require and going about and providing it as it pertains to your Three of Cups, your soul family, be this friends, Taurus, people that you work with, people that you spend quite a lot of time with. This is you fearing the amount of nurturing perhaps with the Queen of Cups. We'll find out more Taurus. With the Knight of Wands, whatever it is that you are creating has all of your passion Taurus. With the Knight we are embodying action and adventure. This is being unconventional, having an eagerness for new experiences tied to what you deem justice. Wow, well, Taurus, in your hidden position is a tower, a complete change to where you are going to place your energy. With the tower, we're talking about the foundation of what you once knew. Possibly something that is attached to the material world. Coming down completely in order for a new foundation to be built. Something new erected in its place. Now, Taurus, this is just in your mind space. You considering all of this. With the Emperor as you in your physical world, Taurus, this is the embodiment of all of the kings. This is trying to 
put in some kind of structure, trying to use wisdom when it comes to determining what justice is, what fairness is, how we could align each one of our perceptions in order to achieve it. Wow, Taurus, the structure that you are putting into place, whatever it is, is something that is in creativity, something that is inspiring, something that inspires you. With the Three of Wands, this is watching your ships come in, Taurus, with the Magician energy, making it happen, with the Emperor energy, making sure that the long-term stability, the structure, the planning, all of the logistics are in place in order for this creation to take off, Taurus, the energy that's balancing you. Wow. Here's your foundation, Taurus. With the Ace of Wands, this is a new beginning in terms of creativity. This is a new beginning in terms of inspiration attached to what it is you are working on, Taurus. With the Three of Wands, this creates a foundation on which you are able to build, Taurus. With the Eight of Swords, you are in a period of waiting. This is a period of healing, having done the healing, but there's a pause, waiting for the next step of the journey, Taurus. Now, you may not be alone in your period of pause. You may be surrounded by your soul family, people that you are able to share your emotion with. Wow, Taurus. With the Two of Cups, wow. True love. With the Two of Cups, we're talking about unity. This could be a deep friendship, Taurus. Or some kind of soul bond. With the Queen of Cups, this is with someone that you love, Taurus. Wow. Now what you should know with the Page of Pentacles... Step one of your journey is complete, Taurus. It's time for the next part. With the Page of Pentacles, this is only just the beginning. This talks about good news, perhaps, related to your finances. Something that a messenger carries, something that you can see in the physical world. Wow, Taurus. With the Page of Swords, this is doing your homework, doing investigations, research, looking things up. It sits in your hidden position, Taurus, under the tower. The tower invokes an energy of having to Use your mind space in order to find some clarity of thought. Now what has brought you here, Taurus, was a new beginning. Something brand new that required your energy of the Emperor, of putting in structures, of putting in the plans, of allowing whatever it is that has been created, the space in which to grow, guiding it and using the wisdom that the emperor would glean from each of the kings. Oh, Taurus, this wasn't just any new beginning. This new beginning led you directly to something that creates healing. With the star, we're talking about something significant, Taurus. We are talking about hope, inspiration. This was, an <clears throat> I beg your pardon, a new beginning that provided the light 
that was going to guide you to what it is you have created, Taurus. Whatever it is you have created in your physical world. <clears throat> now the energy taking you forward is the Six of Cups. This talks about an energy of someone you might have known growing up. Someone you might have known in a previous life, even Taurus. Someone you have the sense of cohesion with. Someone that is attached to your new inspiration, your Ace of Wands. Someone who's extremely significant, Taurus. Now with the star, we could be talking about an Aquarius. With the Six of Pentacles in the near future, Taurus, it is using the energy that is provided by the Six of Cups to attain the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. This could be presence, the giving and receiving that makes you feel as though you are seen and heard in this world, Taurus. Two sixes. This is a time of celebration. With the Nine of Swords, Taurus, this is not wanting to go to bed at night. This is not wanting to waste a single moment having exactly what is right in your current environment. Having the reciprocity that you have waited for is going to create an energy of not wasting a single minute. Now what you should know, Taurus, with the page of wands, a new adventure begins with the fool next to it. The fool led you on an adventure. Now this is still in its early phases, Taurus. You have yet to see what unfolds. In your hidden position is an Ace of Cups. Uncovering that one cup that makes you happy. The one cup you are after, Taurus, on your Eight of Cups journey. Now the outcome as you look at it in retrospect. This new beginning, the one you felt conflicted about, something that you looked at again and again, maybe it was something that had you in your mind space, Taurus, with the Five of Swords, questioning with the Four of Pentacles. This talks about some kind of secret, Taurus, something you might be holding on to. This is something that's extremely significant, Taurus. Wow. The energy balancing you is the Queen of Pentacles. Now we could be talking about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or we could be talking about someone who's loving and caring, someone who strives to share what she has with others. Now, whoever this queen represents, Taurus, even if it's you, you feel some kind of lack right now. It might be something that you are not letting on about. Now the reason it's significant is because you are meant to look at what you have, Taurus. Look at what you have. With the Queen of Pentacles, finding your inner strength, finding your firm belief in yourself. And this can only be done on that journey, Taurus of accepting yourself for exactly who you are. Now attached to the Queen of Pentacles is your Six of Cups, that soul connection, Taurus. With the Two of Swords, this is not being able to see into the future, Taurus. This might be you sitting with some kind of indecision, maybe the reciprocity that you 
we're looking for differs slightly to how it appears in the physical world. This is you making peace with that. And in doing so, Taurus, wow, being able to balance your emotion with a, que with a king of cups. This is a king that can see the meaning behind any situation and provides a solution that brings the balance in Taurus. By making peace, you are able to not just find your stability, but you are able to extend that stability as a support to others, Taurus. Now, I'd like to point out that under the Queen of Cups is the King of Cups. This is a true pair. This is a sacred soul connection, Taurus. With the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace, a new beginning in your finances. So what you've seen thus far is only the page, part one. With the Ace, you are on to part two, Taurus. In your outcome, this is not being able to see that new beginning clearly. And it is how you accumulate your Six of Pentacles, the reciprocity you are looking for. With the Seven of Wands, Taurus, this is creating in a space that is protected. This is creating something that creates healing. Maybe not just for yourself, Taurus, but for others as well. This is where, what your Ace of Pentacles is tied to. This is what your Ace of Cups is tied to. Something that you are creating, Taurus. Now the card under the deck is the Hermit. Something that you are going to create while you are in Hermit mode, Taurus. This is talking about introspection, going within, finding your guiding light, and then being able to proceed. Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Until your next one, we are bye almost for now. at 500 subscribers. Now, to celebrate the 500 milestone, I'm giving away a special personal tattle, a secret tattle, to one lucky subscriber by commenting on the video that reaches the 500. My cards will decide a winner. I will post the secret tattle as a bonus. And while everyone can watch it, only you will know it's yours. So stay tuned.